Welcome back to CNB Bazaar Buzz. This week we're going into the future and now we're showing you what Renault has in store for us. We're getting into the EOLAB prototype that we got to feel and drive and some of the new future technologies could be hitting the market very soon. the future is always exciting and we got a chance to check out EOLAB, the vehicle prototype that tests future technologies for French car maker Renault. A fuel efficiency of 100 kilometers per litre is one of the primary targets of EOLAB and so here's how this is being attempted. Let's begin with the aerodynamics of the car and Renault claims the EOLAB is one of the most aerodynamically sound cars in the market. Some of this we could spot with the swooping roof line, the streamlined underbody and narrow tyres. But here's the real X factor to reduce drag. Active aerodynamic tech on the vehicle ensures that at speeds of over 70 km per hour, a front spoiler is lowered by 100 mm and flaps on the rear bumper open wide by 600 mm and the vehicle almost glides ahead. EOLAB is quite an exciting research project from uh, Renault because some of these innovations are going to come on the Renault lineup in possibly two to three years. Uh, as you start driving the car, you can automatically sense how light it is, and that's something that Renault has really worked upon, especially even the engine being light. But it feels fairly powerful and peppy to ride, so uh, something that Renault will want to put in their small cars. Also, the aerodynamic design is fairly nice because you sit fairly low. So there is a kind of a sporty feel to driving this car. EOLAB uses steel, aluminium and even magnesium to keep the weight under a ton, making it 400 kilos lighter than the Renault Clio hatch. Renault engineers have managed to use a smaller 1-litre engine and a lighter chassis to make the vehicle weigh less. But there is an electric motor that takes most of the load and only when the vehicle crosses 120 km per hour, the conventional internal combustion engine takes over. Given the secrecy of the project and the patents that are still under consideration, we weren't given too many details on EOLAB but were excited by the little we saw and drove. Given that EOLAB technologies will be very relevant for emerging markets like India, Renault will want to move faster and get these onboard vehicles as quickly as possible. Now, Renault did not disclose the exact cost of producing the EOLAB, but reports suggest that this is not such an expensive concept due to frugal engineering and could be produced at around $30,000 or just under 20 lakh rupees. 